What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked this up. It's an Olight Balder S, and it's actually a newer light than what I have. I have like the PL Mini, and I thought that this might be the new, improved version of that. And I was looking for a small tactical light here, and I wanted to show it to you, and then we'll compare it to my PL Mini, which is a light that I have really, really liked. So, first of all, on the bottom, we get the instructions here. So, you do get that. We also get a little set of tools. We also get the magnetic charger here. Now, I actually really love these there's part of me that wishes hey it's just USB-C I can charge it with a lot of the cables that I have but I actually really like these as long as you make sure that you keep them around so that you don't lose it plug it into a USB charging cable there and then you can see just sticks on like this and the lights charge very quickly and it really saves you from having to replace it with a CR 23A or 123 battery or something like that you know so actually I think this is pretty brilliant and it seems to be fairly weatherproof which is really nice now I will say that if you have one of these and you stay in the Olight family, you probably don't need all of these connectors. I just have the one. But I will say, right off the bat, this looks pretty similar to the PL Mini. You know, just from a shape and size standpoint. So I'm actually pretty excited about that. But I know it does have some additional features. So what I want to show you here is that, you know, we have the buttons on the side here. And I think they actually have two styles of buttons. This is kind of their standard higher style. And then they have one where the little levers are a little lower. And if you press down, I think that turns on the sucker and what you can see here is the reveal there's a little green light at the top of the lens there we have a little laser so if I hit that it goes off now if I hit this other side what will happen is that light that laser light will go on too now if I hold it down like this and release it it's just a momentary laser so you can see that but if I just tap it it goes on comes off now I want to show you down here on the bottom we have this little slider so you can see we have a little arrow there and then three options so if I go to the middle because it's on the laser light right there if I slide this to the middle now we have laser and light so if I go ahead and tap this it might be a little hard to see but man that light is bright holy smokes but you might be able to see there we also have the laser light it might be a little hard to tell I might be able to see it better right there because it's just light on light all right so then if I push this all the way over here we just have it on light and again very very bright I am really impressed with how bright this is and haven't even charged it up okay so depending on what you want here I think you get a lot of stuff you get the light and the laser or just the laser now if you need to adjust this laser in side it in you do have a couple of little screws here that's where I think this tool will come in handy so you get a tiny allen key you can adjust that so if you have your red dot sighted in you could probably just do it on your wall or something like that but you know left and right and up and down i also want to show you that this top little carriage here will fit i think on pretty much any picatinny you can see that we have a little rise right here that's going to go into the slots but now that i've opened this up you can see how this can slide back and forth we have some detents and so the nice thing about this is you can get this right up to your trigger guard right so right where your finger can reach it and i love the fact that it's kind of like a push down Kind of reminds me of like European paddle style mag releases. But then once you get that on, you can see how this opens up right up here. This one floats. And now once you get that on, you can tighten that down. So let's just take a look at this compared to my PL Mini and see what it looks like. All right, so I wanted to show you comparison physically of the two devices here. So what you can see is that we've got the Balder S and then the Olight PL Mini. I think it's a Mini 2 actually. And what you can see here is the flashlight portion is bigger the lens is bigger at least the dish is bigger and that might be to accommodate the laser there but obviously because of the little punch out there they have kind of a bigger opening but I would say the emitters look about the same so you can see that directly head-on just be a little hard with my giant thumb in there that the boulder is just a little bit deeper I'd call that maybe three or four millimeters kind of uh, further down and then front to back here you know obviously the clips here can slide a little bit but if I put them front edge of the light to front edge of the light you can see how the balder is a little bit longer I'd probably call that like eight millimeters longer not quite a centimeter but pretty close and then you can see here on the side they're just a little bit different a little bit bulkier but like I said, not only do you get the flashlight and maybe a bigger flashlight, but you also get that laser with it. So if you're looking for something really small that works really well, I've loved this PL Mini too, and it's super small, compact, easy to recharge. But the Balder S has that and a little bit more, a laser more to be exact. Now you're probably wondering, 
How do they look in the dark? Let's check it out. All right, so I have dimmed the lights here in my house because this is what I think you would be using it for. CQB, dark environment in your basement, you know, in a home without lights at night, those types of things. I don't really expect you to use these outside, although I'm sure they'll be better than nothing. But the thing that I want to show you here is that in my room here, I've got probably, you know, 30 feet or so to that far wall. And this is maybe as big as a room would generally be. Now, the first thing I want to do is I've got the PL Mini right here, and I just want to hit the light here and show you what it is illuminating and that's pretty nice man and that's what I really loved about this is you get a nice big flood so not only do I have the light on the stove in that corner there but I am illuminating the whole room so if something's happening over here I'm seeing it it's not a pencil beam that is kind of leaving me vulnerable so yeah this is really nice this is a great little tactical light now I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna take the boulder and put it right up here and I'm just gonna hit this light and I want to show you that man I'll tell you what I can't can't tell a lot of difference. I'm illuminating that stove over there and again the whole room edge to edge corner to corner ceiling to floor is illuminated. So you know between the balder and the PL Mini here very very similar. I'll turn both of them on at the same time. I would say maybe the balder is just a little bit brighter and so you know if I'm looking at that wall versus the balder yeah I would say the balder is just a little bit lighter so the LED element there is seems like it's kind of the next generation so if I turn off the PL Mini here and just to show you this you know again dark not totally unilluminated but you know if we were going down this dark hall this is dark I'll turn this off see I've got the light coming in from the hallway there but obviously can't see all the way down there but if I turn this on man that is really nice so if you are looking for a nice little tactical light that really illuminates everything indoors very very well see it is dark over here but not with this, then I think you will really like this. I will put a link to the Balder S here in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more and explore so much deeper.